Hey everybody, this is Devin here at Predatory Plants. We often get requests to do a greenhouse tour, but uh, frankly our greenhouse is too big to make that really viable. And so I'm going to start doing a series of little bench tours where I just take a section of bench and look at a handful of the plants there and sort of describe what's going on with them. This is one of our Nepenthes benches, and these benches have black weed abatement cloth on them. We do that because beforehand, before we uh, put the cloth down, it was really common for pitchers, uh, for the plants to send their tendrils down through this grate um, and then swell really nice pitchers under the bench where uh, we couldn't see them. Sometimes that would happen to sales plants and then they wouldn't really be saleable. So we put this down. Um, it's helped uh, avoid that, but also it has helped certain tricky species to pitcher more easily. Uh, species like Raja or Sibionensis that really like to have local humidity right on the tendril. Uh, to swell their pitchers, they, they've uh, they've proven to really enjoy the uh, the additional water that gets absorbed by the cloth. So this here is Nepenthes predator. We've actually got two uh, back to back here next door. This is um, Truncata by Hamada, and we've actually got a nice lower down here as well, uh, in addition to those big uppers. This is a really big, vigorous plant. Um, they each have vines that are about six feet tall. Um, so hopefully we'll get a flower off of it. If not, we'll just take some cuttings. It'll be great. Um, over here is our specimen Berkeyi. This one's got, you know, maybe a 12 foot vine. I'll get a little shot of that. But look at this lower picture. It's been around for a really long time too. Six months, maybe. Um, the lid's a little crispy, but you can see Berkeyi is really good. <laughs> when it's, uh, when it's nice and happy, it's fat, it's waxy and this peristome is just to die for. But uh, as I said, it's got quite a bit of vine to it, um, unfortunately. So hopefully it flowers. If not, again, we'll just have to take some cuttings. Um, down here, we've got a Sibionensis that's doing so-so. Uh, it turns out our warm room is better for Sibionensis, so we're, uh, we're transitioning them in there. This is a fun hybrid. This is Maxima by Um and so that's a that's a pretty uncommon cross and look at the color on that just that bright green down to the black or up to the black rather uh fun kind of fluted shape this is another one of those super tall uh vines uh, most of the specimen plants on this bench are tall vines because this is the uh this is the center of the sort of arch in the greenhouse and so we tend to put the tall ones in here uh here's a coppolandii i've got another video coming about uh this species pretty soon um, very nice though, it's from, uh, from the Philippines, it's in the, uh, in the Aleda complex. We've got several Coppolandii, oh this is fun, this is Burbigiae by Platycaila. This is a very nice plant and this particular specimen has quite a lot of exciting striping on it. Um, that picture's a little old and we haven't quite gotten to the new generation yet. This is a real slow grower, um, but the, uh, the pictures are well worth it. Here we've got one of the mini Maximas. I think this is Lake Poso. Yeah, this is Maxima Lake Poso, which is now also known as Nepenthes Minima. So we've got a little basil here. Um, and the thing with Maximas is even the small ones vine like crazy. So cute upper, but uh, you know, still still pretty viney. This plant is great though. This is Nepenthes Ramespina. There's been a lot of chatter about this species recently, and for good reason. Uh, as you can see, it's got that beautiful black pitcher with the creamy green interior. Um, the leaves are very nice. They got a red midrib and then kind of a broad attachment. Um, vines like crazy though. Again, recurring theme in this bench. But let me see if I can get a good shot. The uppers are cool. They're much larger. They got kind of a paler color. Um, but uh, hoping for a flower because this one hybridizes really well. And I guess I'll stop right here. Oh, no, I'll show one more. This is Dream. This is our uh, big breeding Nepenthes densiflora by Spectabilis Giant. You can see we've got some basils coming here. Brand new lower pitcher right there, which will be nice. And a pretty good upper that shows the kind of red and black striping that uh, that, that particular plant is known for uh, and that comes through really well in its breeding system. Oh, and look at this. I can't see there. We got a flower. So get ready for some new green dream hybrids in about, I don't know, three years? Ah, two years. All right, finally, this is a really fun one. This is Singalana by Harry Red Hamada. 
This is a beautiful plant. Uh, this basil is a little bit small. Um, they, the, the pictures get quite a bit taller than this, or, or quite a bit larger, fatter. But it's got great color, nice, nice, nice teeth. And uh, there's an upper on the vine, but it's not super exciting and it would be hard to, uh, to look at because it's, again, eh, 10 feet tall. So hopefully this one uh, flowers soon and then we can take some more cuttings. I think we have some cuttings of this plant kicking around the greenhouse somewhere. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it there. I'll do another bench tour sometime, uh, sometime later to try to get people some more information about what we're growing and get a picture of how we're growing it. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, remember to like and subscribe to see more of these.